Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. I have all my Kathy Holden, um, well not all of them, but a lot of my Kathy Holden fabric out from yesterday. And so I grabbed a couple other piles. This is more Kathy Holden. Here's some Timmy and just some random scraps. I thought we'd just play a bit and um, maybe make some fabric flips. I have one other idea I wanted to try. So we will just get started with high and hugs. Hi and hugs to Crafty Alley Creates, Pat, Lorette, and Candace. Thank you so much for watching, for your kind comments and all. Okay, let's play. Just feeling like a little random, random play. Well, let's let's do my first idea here. I um got these wonderful from Triple V Vintage. These wonderful um, they're kind of you know for like on a on a cover, and they're they're Kathy Holden and just layered up and so pretty. I was wondering if one of those, um, as I showed you yesterday, I'm going to make this little cover. I was wondering if one of these might be nice on this cover. And I do like that one because of the purple flowers. This one has a purple stamp, but I think I like this one better. Oh, and then there's this pretty one too. Let's, let's just make sure. That's really pretty too, but I think I like that one with this particular background. Okay, so you know what I was thinking, and I meant to do it yesterday, was I was thinking about putting this on the um, uh, the Amazon envelope wrap and making it poofy on top of there, and so um, I grabbed... I grabbed this because I didn't have a right size of the envelope scraps. And I just wanted to see, you know, I think I really want to put Amazon packaging behind that. Just to make it poofy up on the page a bit. Yeah, so anyway, I grabbed that out for that. But I was also thinking... Some of these would be super cute on um, on the top layer of a fabric flip, right? So let's play with that a little bit. Um, I I don't know, maybe like because I do have this piece, and that's what made me think. I think I'll do some fabric uh, fabric flips. See that would be super cute, I think. Okay, I need I need more room than I've got. Let, let's put all our scraps over aside until we want them. How about okay? So this one, we are gonna want this to be like I usually do about seven and a half. That gives a little inch at the bottom. So let's give that a snip at seven and a half. Okay. And have a nice little frayed bottom. So we like that. Oh, and look at that fun scrap. <laughs> Use and make them. That's what we do. Yeah, I like that. I like that across there. And then what would we, then like some lace or something. I wanted to grab, just grab this little box. Has all sorts of laces from Paper Lace and Bling on Etsy. And I thought it'd be fun to dig in here and see, see what we have that might be fun. And if not, I've got lots of other options in the bag over there. Let's see. This be like. It's good, but I don't think it's what I want. 
Ooh, this is cute. That's better because it's it's more feminine, right? Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Let's see. I don't know that I need my my fabric scissors. I don't think so. So I'm going to get rid of those out of my way. Don't need a pen. Okay, now I can put my lace box over there. Alrighty then, let's see what, so what I like to do when I make a bunch of fabric flips is go ahead and just like paper clip them together with what I, with what I want. And then I'll just sew them all at once. So I do like that. I feel like I might like something right there. Um, and what, I'm not exactly sure, but just kind of looking at these little journey of crafting doily pieces. I think I need something a different color. That one's a little big. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm, oh. What about one of these? Yep. This is from SM Tiffany Lane on Etsy. So yeah, we're going to put that little bright flower right there. Okay, so this one is good to go. So I'll just lay it aside and we'll just, and we'll just keep going. Okay, so we need some more um, bases. I have this, I have this. This is great. This would be fun for a farm journal because it's got pigs and stuff and peas. Let's see. So seven and a half puts us right here. Where does seven and a half put us on this end? Right here. I think I like that better. So I'm just going to go about right here so we get a little bit of this. Okay, and that leaves this piece, which we could use in it as well, maybe. <clears throat> so, I hope you're having a good weekend so far, and um, we don't have much going on this weekend other than um, my daughter is bringing her dog, because they are... Heading out next week for a volleyball tournament in Phoenix. Both girls are playing. And so, busy people that they are. They are, gosh, I don't want to cover up the peas. <laughs> okay, I have this little piece that could go across the top. I really like this fuzzy selvage. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to have our buddy Alfie with us, which will be so fun. He's such a sweet boy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a story about that. While we're, <laughs> while we're just crafting and messing about here. Um, so, you know, last weekend for Father's Day, we went to their house, right? Um, it's not bad. Uh and so we pulled up and um, apparently uh, Amy was at the door with Alfie and she said he was just, he was just going crazy and just like 
whimpering and stuff. <laughs> well, um, ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. Uh, so anyway, she said he, well, at first he was just looking. And then I got out of the car and he just was whimpering. So she opened up the door of the house and you guys, he came running to me and he's a golden and he put his head like under my armpit kind of, and he wrapped his neck around my body and his body was here and I was scratching him and he was just crying. It was the sweetest thing ever. It's like he missed his Nana. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, dog, you have my heart. <laughs> oh, he was just so cute. So yeah, that was, he was much more excited to see me than the grandkids were. <laughs> so, oh, that could be fun. Yeah, just, just was beside himself. Oh, sweet boy. Maybe I'll go down this way and then we get that because that's you know kind of plain okay so doing these is just kind of like a collage really isn't it it's just and it's they're fun I find them fun and it uses up your bits your bits and bits so there's another one done but yeah, I've been meaning to tell you that story about Alfie because it, it was just the sweetest thing ever. It really was. Oh, and I have I have this free market fresh oh, with all these yummy things in it. The stamps and the florals, you know, the, the floral that we use, but there's also collage ones and stuff so <laughs> what do we want to do and I have these from these were from oh gosh maybe it was flea market mix it was one of her first ones and that could be kind of fun too how wide is that five and a half that's okay I'm gonna play with that one a little bit um yeah so anyway that was that was pretty cool. I think I might leave that because it's not it's seven and a half. So we can put something across there. Um, yeah. So anyway, that that made my heart feel good. That sweet puppy. There's that. It's kind of kind of fun. I almost, I think I want to stamp this. Let's see, what do we have? We got to open the right drawer, you know, is the thing. I have this one that says friends. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see how it turns out. Worst case scenario, I'll mess it up. <laughs> Always a real possibility. Yeah, so anyway, that's that's my Alfie story. So he's coming this weekend, and so we get to have him here, which is always a joy, always a joy. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, that's cute. stamp a little bit that worked okay um yeah so anyhow that's the scoop for this weekend at our house um this is a really cool piece too but i'm gonna have to use it on something else look at this one this little train that doesn't work really oh but this could it's seed packets. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. Okay. Plans coming together. Um, yeah, so, man, our granddaughters, they have a ton of games and, um, and stuff, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. My, my son and his family are coming for the fourth, so I'm not sure how much of the volleyball we'll get to watch, but we'll watch what we can for sure. Those sweet girls of ours. Okay. Really, I don't think I want anything hanging down because I want the friends there. So we're going to call that one done. You can use a little clip on that one. Okay, that's cute. Getting a little stack going over here. It's nice to have them, just like ephemera, it's nice to have them to pull from. So this is a super fun one of her fabrics too. It's, um, you know, the Victorian calling cards. And that would be fun on a piece, too. These um, charm packs are five inches, and they make a nice, like, a nice background. I wonder if there's a background we could use with that. Ooh, this one. Um, so, the Kathy Holden Flea Market Fabrics. Just um, give it a little bit of a... Of a search on Etsy and you'll find shops that carry it. So her first one was free mar flea market mix. The next one was flea market moxie. This one flea market fresh. And then she's coming out with one in August, another one. And um, so she's she's already sent me those fabrics, and so I will share those as soon as they're available. Definitely. Okay. I wonder, Kathy, do you hold your breath when I rip your fabric? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, love that. Okay. I guess we could go across the top like so. I'm trying so hard to use this. Could I put some of it down the side? Yes, I could. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Okay. Found you a home. Just gonna clip right here. Not have it go all the way, but part of the way. I think I'll actually put it over here. Oh, see, it goes that way. I'll actually put it over here because the hand is over here. Kind of balances that out a little bit. Okay, and then I'll put a little little lace across there. I could also stamp kind right there. You know, that's always the temptation for me. I think I might like that better than anything else. So, I think I'm going to do it. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, just, uh, search on Etsy, Kathy with an E, Kathy Holden flea market fabric and then the different suppliers will come up and the different fabrics as well. So, yeah. They are fun. They are just, I don't know, they're just so right up my alley. <laughs> and Kathy and her sister Jennifer are the most lovely people ever. So, um, that's always fun too, to be able to support 
such wonderful people. Okay, this needs to come over a bit. I have no rhyme or reason other than what's pleasing to my eye. So, um, so yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm just going to go with on that one. I think we can use a little paper clip on this one again. Okay. Okay. And then I think I might switch, switch over to another fabric. I mean, I have this one as well, but this is such a neutral, it can go with anything. So let's think about that. Okay. All of my all of my bits bits and bits okay oh this bit and we'll put the charm pack away for the moment as well okay let's do let's see what's in here I've got this is a lot of my um, fabrics from my quilter friend so let's see, let's see what we can get up to here. I was just thinking this and this could go nicely together, right? Do a neutral one. So, um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't really have any stories. Oh, I will tell you my peonies are blooming. And my favorite colored ones are just way, way beautiful this year. So that's that's been fun. Um, it's just been fun to sit outside and enjoy those. Okay, what I'm thinking is I'd like a strip down the middle. So let's just cut this right on this edge right here. Ooh, that's nice fabric. We'll put that down there. Set this back over. Um, I was looking in my Kathy Holden. I have some, have some, you know, kind of plain words. Oh, but then that covers that up, doesn't it? So what if we did this? What if we put that there, this here, and then what about, um, I think I have a little of this to just go across there. Yep, I think that's what I'll do on that one. I came across when I was looking for my fabric scraps, you know, gathering them up. I came across some Christmas fabric and I'm like, oh, getting a hankering and it's June for crying in the pocket. <laughs> okay. I do like that. Could add, could add a little, yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's cute. It covers up that, though. Maybe we'll put it over here. Yeah. Sorry, I had my paper clip in my mouth. That's disgusting. Okay. There's that one. So, let's look what, what's in my, uh, my Timmy stack. So, I've got a couple of those. This is what's left of a charm pack, not much. And this, this could be, ooh, and this. This is not quite as wide as I usually use, but I'm thinking this and this together could be nice. Okay, let's cut this at seven and a half. Okay, you got to give it to the Timmy fabric. It does, um, it does fray really nicely. Okay, and then 
And this, gosh, that's nearly as wide. I think that'll be a base again. So how about, how about that? Oh my gosh, could that be any per more perfect? Okay. Um, I don't know if I want the bottle caps on that. Nope, I don't. So let's look for something else in the scrap pile. Um, and this. That's nice. Okay. Um, thinking about what I want to put across it. Would that could it be a piece for this train? You know, that looks pretty good with it, I feel like. Okay, I'm going to straighten this up a titch. And we'll put that choo-choo train across there. Right there. Then this can be for a more of a guide journal or something. Okay, cool. And another one. These go pretty quick, I feel like. Um, when our TV was down here, I used to do these while watching TV at night and just have a stack of fabric and just put them together, you know, and with the uh, clip and then the next day, just so, so, so. Get them all sewn across the top and ready to go. Okay, I haven't, I have listed them in my Etsy many times, but not recently. I don't know I why I'm having such a hard time getting stuff, getting stuff done anymore. I feel like I, I don't know. I think it's, I just have so many projects I want to do. I don't want to cover all that up. Maybe I just need like a strip or something. There's a strip of map. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Grunt, grunt and groan. Um, do I want like a something hanging down from ooh that's kind of cool let's do that that's different go that way with it okay and then across the top I don't know if I want the black I kind of like the black yeah I like the black better do I have a little thicker black at all? Um, I don't think so. No, what's this? And then I just found this. I like that. That's cool. Okay. I do find this so much fun. I hope it's okay to watch too. So my husband's off on an errand to Home Depot. <laughs> He's on a mission to get a ribs rack <laughs> for for barbecuing ribs because my my son's coming and so that's I guess going to be on the agenda let's do this one I mean these are just kind of the perfect width so it's just good to and I really think I can do two here I do this one I almost hate to cover up that flower and this one's 
close to the right length. Let's go this way with it. Get some of the strings off. Um, yeah, he, this other one bit the dust, I guess, but I'm excited about that because I love his barbecued ribs. Okay, so then what with this? I have all those. This pile I recognize from doing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, um, fabric flips. Now I could, let's see, I could cut this like that and then I could go here like that and I could go down the side and not cover up the flower with this one my thought like right here not cover up all the flower okay I like that and then I've got this I'm not using it over there mm, kind of like I think I might go here I can use this little strip well, maybe I can use for a tag topper. So that's always good. And then I'll put this along the side, like here. And then we'll put something brighter in the middle there. Like what? Well, we've got this too big. Um, what do we have in the Timmy Chandra over here? Where's this pretty flower one? I love, love that flower one. I'm kind of wondering about this little, no. Music? This one's neat, and it does have a little color to it. Okay, that covers up that other one too much, doesn't it? There, that's more what I'm thinking. Okay. Then what across the top? Maybe across that one, do we want some Timmy tape? Yeah. Okay. So there's that one, just like that. Find a little paper clip. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. It's very neutral, but it's okay. Okay, and then this one Feel like I want something down there. Don't know exactly what. I'm consulting my little pile of stuff here. Can't. Nothing's jumping out at me there. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I know I disappeared off screen there for a sec. I 
want something kind of colorful. That'd be cool. That's just different. Let's do that. This lace is from Journey of Crafting on Etsy. Try and tell you when I know <laughs> where things are from. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, good. So we've got 25 minutes, about 10 after. Just, just checking. Okay. That was the right side. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. I don't know that I want anything across the top because it would take away from the flowers. Might just leave that fairly simple. Could we, could we, or would we want that right there? Yes, we would. Okay. All right. We are making some major progress, I feel like. Okie dokie then. What else do we have that's like just begging to be a fabric flip? Oh, what's this? There's a little piece there. Could make a smaller one with this. Go this way, I think. And I think we'll use, maybe use this on there. down the middle. Um, I'm looking for something kind of behind it. That's not bad. It's not bad right there. Okay. Just have to make sure it's going to fit my pages. So we'll do this one and then we'll move on to that other pile. Okay, I do like that. Like that a lot. Let's see about this one. Sorry, I don't know where this one came from, but it's cool because it came on a little spool. That's kind of cool and then run something down the middle of it. Um, yep. Okay. And another one. Another one bites the dust. And another one's gone. And another one's gone. Okay. So now let's move Tim. You move over here, Timothy. And um, this one, this pile of stuff is real random, so I don't know what I'm going to find in here, really. Um, as far as something wide enough, that is. Ooh, these are pretty. These two. Ooh, let's do some out of this. These are so fun. And yeah, this is from my quilter friend. I love it when she has these kind of pieces <laughs> that are that are um, you know, already already awesome. Ooh, look at that one. Okay, let's play with those couple for a minute. Just I don't I don't even know what I have that will go with them, but so I need to take some off the sides on this because otherwise it's going to be too wide for my it'll be too wide for my book.
So I'm going to attempt to cut this with along the line, but you know, it's a fabric flip. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> the scissors wiggle all over the place. So that can be tag toppers too. Put that in the tag topper pile. And then this one too. Oh, okay. I can go right up those dots. That always makes it easy when the fabric has a pattern, you know? It's so fun because she's always so amazed at what I end up doing with her fabric scraps. <laughs> it's like, in some ways, I'd rather have scraps than, you know, than the real deal. Okay, that's five inches. That's just right. Okay, what about with this? Would that do anything? Well, it's kind of pretty. It's grandma-ish, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, this pretty stuff. I think it might be too much. I like it better. I actually kind of like it because you can see the pattern through. And I want to use all this lovely lace. This is the thing. So there's that, and then this was right on top. Yeah, I think it's a okay. Okay, and then we'll just zip across the top, is what I usually do when I'm sewing it. Okay, so let's see how much of this would be to five. Ooh, just on the other side of this. I can make it just a skosh wider. Mm, not much. But I love those colors together. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to kind of go up her seam here. Ooh, I could have gone up and down too, couldn't have I? Didn't think of it. This one, about seven. So let's do this and go like four and a half ish here. Just going to cut this up. Okay, so this one's going to go this way, I think this way, and this one like that, but then I was wondering would it be fun, yes it would, to be putting that there, yes. I'm going to put that across there. And then something skinny. I haven't used this yet, and I like the geometrics of it since the quilting is sort of geometric. Oops. It's sort of bent right there. <laughs> Can't get my scissors under it. Okay. Okay, really like that one. That one's cool. Okay. And then let's do this one. She ripped it out. Had to rip it out. That's what always boggles my mind, too, when I'm around my quilter friends, is how patient they are with... Oh, I got that backwards. I'm going to have to rip that out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'd be in tears. <laughs> definitely not, definitely not made of quilter material. I am. 
Okay, so I'm kind of looking at this again. Wow, that's just kind of pretty as is, isn't it? Yeah, I think the quilting is just what's the star of it. So let's not fight it. Let's go with it. Let's embrace it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put that little, little bit on top and call that one a flip. Okay. So then these intrigued me. How wide is that? It's about five. It'd be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off seven and a half on this. Isn't it great when I get a piece that's just like the very right width and everything? Okay. I would really like to make some of those little journal cover toppers that um, that Veronica was making at Triple V. I think they're cool. These these really fun. But I didn't have it in me today. You know how some days you're a little more than others? Had one of those nights, you know, where I woke up at quarter to three and then go back to sleep until like five or something. And then I wake up and my day's all defugled because I woke up too late, you know. I go this way. So... I didn't I didn't have it in me to do anything too too creative but some fabric flips I could handle. Okay, I really like that. And this is a this is a good color. You know, like I don't use it that often this salmon color. But then when you do, it's like I don't have anything that goes with it. So um so this is great. Oh wait. Fussy cut that out. That'd be cute on there. So I'm thinking about putting some of this in here too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This, the words here, this is Kathy Holden too. Okay. It's nice. I kind of feel like I, it needs a backing of some sort, lace or something. Um, what if I did something like that? Yes. Okay, well that one was a happy accident. Pulling itself right together like that. Yeah, that's nice. I'll try to get these sewn, and if I do, I will show you tomorrow. How we doing? Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, um, well, this one. Let's see, we've used all these, so we can set those up there. Um, This one is little over seven so if I cut it let's just make a, a bright happy one how about and I think what I'm going to do is use this as the top 
and then I can have that little extra length. But I've got, so I've got these. Which, I, you know, doesn't show up super good because it's the same fabric. Let's see what else we've got here. In this kind of genre. Got a, 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 a yeah, yellow. Um, what if I put this over here and then I put this here. Gets the yellow. Let's just see what happens. I think I got this that I cut straighter. Oh, except I want the blue over there. Hello. Okay, let's just straighten it off. Okay, so that could go there. And then I think I have some strips here that might... I was wondering about this. Oh, look how cute. Yeah, that's real cute. This was my other strip I was thinking of, but I think I like the quilted better. This one kind of got all wrinkled up. I mean, she throws them in her basket because they're, you know, more or less garbage. Not so much to me. Um... Okay, that is super cute. And then maybe just, just a tiny bit of white lace across. Because I don't want to cover up the, the quilting. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pull this over slightly. We have this little piece. Yeah, bring that dark color over a little bit. Yep, that's going to be that one. We did it. We did it. So let me show you the stack. So can you see these okay without me picking them up? Let me just zero in for this part. Okay, so there's that one. We'll count them. So we have one, two, I'm in love with that one, two, three, easy peasy, we'll just sew that on, or I may glue it because it's got beads, four, Trying to lay them straight and they're not laying straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That was really different. I like that one. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. So fifteen fabric flips in an hour. How fun is that? So 
I hope you enjoyed Scrappy Saturday this Saturday. Thanks for crafting with me. And I will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye-bye.